Hey folks, so I'm out on a uh, pick or following up a lead rather and uh, just about to stop at a thrift shop. Uh, it's not the lead, it's just something on the way. So I'm going to uh, go in and uh, see what I can find. So we'll see if we can find some treasure. Goodies. Don't have a lot of luck with glasses. Though. Let's see. Bit of etched glassware, but again, don't have a lot of luck with that stuff. Expo pins. Kids books. Oops, something. Light. Oh, yeah, might as well. I'm here now. Missing anything, guys? I don't want to be too long. And close, close, close. Check for some keys and such. Mainly women's. Yep. Women's clothes galore. Well, I guess that's it, folks. And this is a pay on your honor place, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, adult clothing, shoes, movies, puzzles, books, cash box. Max and toys, dollar or as marked. So, technically two bucks. So, we'll leave two bucks. There we go. There we go, guys. Going out. Oh, hey, guys. So, so close, but so far. I'm at the entrance to this town. This is the only entrance. And they're repairing the tracks right on the crossing. So, yeah, I guess we're uh, SOL for the moment. And it's nearing, oh, it's about 11 o'clock, so I don't know. It's gonna be lunch soon. So I'll have to find a place for lunch, I guess, before doing this pick. Or checking out this lead. Anyway. Yeah, enjoy the picking. Hey guys, so I'm back, back home. Uh, got back about 
three or so here, about or 334. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you what I picked up. Um, not a whole lot. I uh, didn't get the piece I was going after because the people that uh, own the property were away. So they're going to contact me in about a week's time when they get back. And uh, hopefully I can go after the piece that, uh, or buy the piece that I was after. But I did find a couple collectors and such in the area. Um, so I did buy a few things. Uh, some nice folks, met some good people and uh, chatted quite a bit and and such, which is all part of the, the business. So anyway, I'll go through what I got. Uh, for one fellow, I got a couple barn lamps and a license plate, a little Brandon bike plate from 71. Uh, from the thrift shop, I got a pair of Bakelite handled uh, carving, kind of a partial carving set. They were a buck a piece, so not a big deal. Um, I gave the fellow five for the plate and ten a piece for the lanterns, which is probably too much for this particular one because it is damaged here and here, and they've been electrified. <laughs> I can, can convert them back because I do have the parts, so I'll convert them back, but I don't think I have any uh, filler caps, unfortunately. But I do have the parts for inside, so I'll just change them out and uh, kind of convert them back to what they were supposed to be. Then picked up a Firestone cardboard sign from this a collector I met there. He had divested of all his signs and such, or most of his signs, as well as a large quantity of other stuff. So, yeah, uh, so I missed out. <laughs> but uh, he had sent a bunch of stuff to auction. But he did have a few things. So this sign was one of them. Uh, Double-sided, unfortunately, it does have some foam goop on one side, which is unfortunate. But anyway, that was, I think, $30, $35, something like that. But uh, it's an old white wall style one, so kind of an older sign. And then I got a railway lamp as well from him. It was Canadian National Railways and a registered grate that says caloric on it which i have no idea what that's from i'm wondering if it's from a feed mill or something like that but i don't know uh he thought maybe from a house where you let the air go through to the second floor possible i don't know uh it's a little lighter cast than most so i'm thinking it's a little newer but who knows and then got a Hoosier cast iron tractor seat. I have no idea what it's worth. I was going a little old school because there was no cell service in that area within the boonies. So yeah, kind of out in the middle of nowhere and uh, no cell service. So I had to drive a ways to get cell service again. So I was kind of, I didn't check online like most people do. I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants as to what I wanted to pay for stuff. Um, he quoted the prices, so he gave this to me for 70 which I was happy with. It does have a little damage around the hole, but it is covered up by the bolt, so that's all right. Then a Jeep, Tonka Jeep is missing the steer wheel, I just noticed. But uh, still, I gave 30 for it. That might be too much, but... I figured it was worth 65 but uh, we'll see. I have to double check on that. I may have overpaid. Um, and Auburn rubber tractor, uh, probably more common in the U.S. than here, uh, is missing his head, unfortunately, but it was $5. I couldn't leave it behind. And then I got two insulators, one Canadian National or Canadian Northern Railway, I'm not sure which. Uh, odd color, so it could be okay. Uh, Grand Trunk Pacific Telegraph Company does have a chip in the base, unfortunately, but it is a probably a decent insulator as well. Uh, he charged me ten dollars for the two, so I'm happy with that. So last but not least, definitely not least, I paid up for this uh, porcelain post office sign. Now it has the sign or the sorry the town's name on the bottom, so I'm not going to show that. 
because I'm not done in this town yet. So anyway, I got a nice post office sign, a really cool, um, we got the, the uh, Canadian crest on it in full color, really neat like that. Uh, should be a fairly easy sale, although like I said, I did pay up for this. Now, all this stuff that you saw, I paid $570, $72, including the uh, Bakelite. <laughs> so, that's a lot of money, guys, for what is here, or seems like a lot. I paid up on that sign. I paid $300 for that sign, is what I offered them. Uh, wanted to get the ball rolling on that pick, so gave them a pretty healthy offer for that particular sign seeing it, it still needs cleaning and such so yeah um, good piece though and like I said I'd show the whole thing but uh, like the town name is on the bottom so I'm not really done picking in that town yet so anyway cool that's cool stuff um, would like to uh, really get through it fairly quick or sell some of it fairly quick get recoup that uh, 500 and some sign shouldn't be a very hard sale at all uh, the rest of it is going to be fairly slow I would think Firestone might sell fairly quick but uh, still some neat stuff really happy with how it went not a not a ton I like to get a lot more than what's here but uh, that's pretty good for just going out and uh, hitting a random pick really anyway thanks for watching guys please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc and give a comment below as to what do you think did I overpay or did I do just fine? Anyway, got to check on some of these pieces. Uh, like I said, the Hoosier and the post office sign. And I'm sure I'm going to make a little money, but uh, I'm not going to double up. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.